Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of John Stone. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And let's get in and check out John Stone's awesome art. All right, we've got texture. We've, we've, got, we've got selection tool. We got it all. The modern digital artist and in his element. So what I've done here for the first couple images, or, or at least one of them here I know, is that I've gathered their reference image as well so we can kind of compare oh, I love that. from where it started to where it ended up. This is amazing. This is just amazing. These are super cool. They're so full of texture. I love digital art that feels, this is gonna sound weird, that feels like art. Mm. I hate when, I, I don't hate when, I just don't like hyper realism to the point where it's like, oh, is that a photo? Like, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I want the viewer to remember that there was effort and work and time spent on this thing while enjoying the beauty of the artwork. Absolutely. I feel like such a fun draw of art in general is that it, in, you know, it's a reimagining of your reference in a way. Like, speaking of, there is the reference for that photo. Yeah. So here's the, here is the reference versus their painting. Wow, I just love this. They've taken that amazing reference and now they have this piece where there's brilliant composition. The whole thing sweeps in a big C curve with a very dramatic uh, jutting out with that rock. But in the reference, like it still looks amazing, but it doesn't it have that. Yeah. It doesn't have the same intentional direction of like a, a mm -hmm. specific line. He saw that line in nature and emphasized it. It's like, give me that line. That line is yeah. mine now. Yeah. I'm gonna twist that line and make it better. <laughs> His work with like directional pull is so cool. Like everything in this is, this too is like twisting up to the right. Yeah, it's it's really interesting how he's doing that with the shapes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is uh, clearly very intentional. And that's not something you notice right away. That's only upon looking at it a little closer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some more refined artwork. So, you know, they're not always just using the selection tool. Yeah. A lot of this is commercial art, I believe, for League of Legends. Don't. Okay. Don't kill me in the comments. I I am not. I don't play League of Legends. I'm not. But super for something familiar. really cool. Um, something really cool. Yeah. Very very cool artwork. I love this color palette. It's so dreamy. Uh, lavenders and pinks, like in the pastel range, just so beautiful with some yeah. gold. Ah, classic. I, I love how it feels like space art deco. Does mm, that make sense? It absolutely Or Japanese does. art deco. Yes. Yes. It definitely has that kind of vibe. I know that this was made for Valorant, I think. <laughs> okay. I say very confidently um, because it's a gun, Abby, and there's only guns in Valorant. Oh, is that the only game with guns? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't think there's any other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've seen the exact reference photo that they used to create this artwork, and I've at least painted something very similar, mm -hmm. um, but, but nowhere near this uh this ability and scale this is so cool it's so amazing it's beautiful i wonder if they have a bird brush a bird brush yeah little birds <laughs> everybody's got to have a bird you gotta brush. have a bird brush that would, that's not a bad idea no it's not a bad idea it wouldn't be impossible to make this is amazing this is just amazing yeah what do you like about it um i like the colors I like the bounced lighting onto that leftermost wall. Mm. I like the orange outline on the girl. I think that's so cool and something I'm seeing, I'm re like recognizing as a repeated things in artists that I like. I love the vending machine. I love the hard angles. I mean, what's not to love? What's what do you, what do you think love? it is about the orange outline? I don't know. It just seems to add such a pop and a vibrancy. Like it doesn't have to be there, but the fact that it is is cool. At least on skin, I believe the intention is hinting at some like graphic subsurface scattering. Uh, but on clothing and stuff, I think it's still really cool. It like kind of gives it a warm glow. Yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. This is amazing. This is extremely cool. Wow. <laughs> this is like, this is very cool. Like, how I, do you even conceive of this? <laughs> like, you're like, I'm gonna take this in, like this normal scene in my life and blow it up and make it amazing with it, different this colors. This is clearly someone who is very practiced at their, you know, their process. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Taken to the extreme. Yeah, wow. The texture on the trees. I love how there's so much crazy texture and color going on in this image, yet you don't lose these branches up here. 
Right. Like, it's still very readable somehow. <laughs> like, it has a chaotic element to it, but it's never so chaotic that you're like, Ugh, that part just looks bad or something. It all looks really good. I am a big fan of this image. This is awesome. Yeah. That's super Ooh, cool. I'm a big fan of this image too. Yeah, a little Kiki's delivery service yeah, action maybe. Yeah. I see the cat on the broom. I think that's what it is. But the clouds and the bridge. Oh, we got our bird brush going again. Good job with the bird. It, it may not be a brush. It could be hand-drawn birds. Either way, just amazing. Even if it is a brush, at one point they had to have been drawn. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I cast no judgment. <laughs> just so amazing. These clouds are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, I love the bright pops of outlined colors like the purples and like the purple gradating into this pink over here. Yes. Oh my goodness. I want to go somewhere where the clouds are like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or what about this? Do you want Ooh, the clouds like this? I don't know if clouds like this exist, <laughs> mm -hmm. but this is beautiful. This is like that um, train pic picture again where it was all teals and like yeah. not similar colors color palette. Yeah. Yeah. I love the chaos of like the base of this image where it's just... This person clearly loves to use a lot of different texture brushes. You can see how this brush repeats. Oh yeah. It's a little too much for me because it feels uh, very inorganic. That one looks inorganic. a little more scribbled in, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it starts to lose the controlled chaos feel to me a little bit, but mm -hmm. that's like literally the only moment I've seen where that happened. I love how he keeps doing this uh, thing with these clouds up here where it's like something's bursting out yeah, of them. Yeah. That's such I think a cool effect. Cool. This, there's so much like detail work to this too, where I wonder how hard that is to keep an eye on just one spot, this tiny spot that you're working on, and also keep in mind the big picture. I know there's like navigator windows where you can have like this, the whole image up in the corner so that as you're yeah, working on Yeah, which is a good idea, mm -hmm. like if you're working on small areas. Right, just so you can get an idea for how it all reads as a whole. But that, oh, this is like the best. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is probably my favorite. This is... Just super cool. This must have taken forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of detail There's going so on There's so much here. detail. There's trash bags in those trash cans that are like wrapped around the trash cans that you can see through a little bit. There's... You can definitely tell that some of the drinks were repeated and copy and pasted yeah. a, a couple times, which no shade, I, I would 100%. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the but the rest of it is just, it's really cool. This is so cool. Her backpack is so well drawn too. And the like little mechanics and machinery on the vending machines, like the coin insert slots are just so gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I think I found a new desktop background. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I say that every artist I adventure know, now. I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> it's so, so cool. I love the flowers. I'm always a sucker for like big florals in a piece. So this is awesome. I always feel like I get like so easily lost in the sauce when I'm trying to do a ton of flowers and it just becomes noise. Yeah, you know? yeah. I wonder how people keep that a little more like cohesive and not explosive. Definitely you have some foreground work where you have some more detailed flowers mm -hmm. and shifting to a different color, smaller sizes. That might be a great time. exercise for me. Yeah. I've been working on some Alla Prima stuff lately, getting away from sketching. So maybe next up I'll try out some landscapes, like some environments. It. I like it. This is nice. I love these big trees. I love, you know, work that is about the landscape and there's just, you know, a person in it to give it more interest. And sometimes at first glance- It lends scale to the yeah. image, which is nice. Exactly, exactly. It really transforms things. They both need each other. Cause just, an Im just like a person in a moment isn't as impressive as a person in a big landscape. Yeah, there's also a lot of science around emotion when there are characters in an artwork mm -hmm. and like you know when you watch a show or not to go too off topic but like watching a show or even a youtube video where you can see someone's face and how they react it helps your brain know how to react right <laughs> in right. a way and i think in some ways having a character in the scene like we have here kind of you're like they're reacting to the scene even though we can't see their face so it makes it feel more more grounded or something. Yeah. That's that's as artsy as fartsy as I will get with with this kind makes of stuff. Makes sense though. to me. Makes sense to there's me. There's some science in there. Yeah, there's some science in there. I don't understand it, but We're humans. We look to, we like to look at other humans and 
make, you know, assumptions. <laughs> and if you want to look at more humans or more artsy fartsy stuff in the future, click that like and subscribe button. And check out our guidebook, how to easily draw every day at the link below in the description. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. Sometimes if I don't know how to feel, I just look over at you and I'm like, oh, that works. Oh, that I, I could feel like that. I could feel like that, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really feeling not that one. feeling that feeling. <laughs> <laughs>